Hello everybody, and this video is uh, a Christmas wish to everybody that is watching my channel. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you one of the most highly desirable uh, goldfish that people would really like to have but are very rare. And I'm going to show you other people's aquariums in this Christmas special that people have sent me and their ideas that they had for their plenums. And that's all coming up next. What you're looking at here is a picture of one of the rarest goldfish you can get if you can find a ranchu like this. It is a redhead yellow body ranchu. I've only seen one in my life and that was at a place years and years ago back in the 70s called Noah's Ark in Elk Grove Village and they had one, a small one. Wasn't the best of quality but it was exactly as you see here a red head like that of uh, a red cap aranda and the body is yellow not orange, but yellow. It's a very rare and highly sought after ranchu. Uh, this is probably the most sought after ranchu or goldfish you could possibly even get. But like I said, it's extremely, extremely rare to even see one in your lifetime. I've, I've only seen one in my lifetime. And I just wanted to read you a... Uh, um, a letter that I received. Well, not a letter. It was in the comments. And this is the reason I try to help people out. And this is one reason why. And I'm going to read you what the comment was. Thank you for the info, Doc. I tried your filtration and for two days, all red streaks from all of my goldfish are gone. Before I tried so many products to treat them, like Prozorentel, and antibacterial in and out but they kept coming back so happy to find your info doc thanks a lot the the treatments he was giving are the common treatments that you would give goldfish and it's very common for goldfish to get red lines in their fin, especially the the arandas, ones with long, long tails. And once you get those red lines, and it seems like the very end of the tail of the goldfish starts fraying. Very common. Okay, anyone who's kept goldfish uh, knows this, that this is a very common problem. And like I said before, if it wasn't for the plenum and if it wasn't for the BCB baskets and stuff that I used in the anoxy filter uh, goldfish for me were the same as a lot of people that are out there and the problems they had of uh, red lines in the fins the fins beginning to uh, disintegrate and rot away at the edges and it seems like you no matter what you do no matter who you listen to you're trying your best to have high water quality and everything seems to fail and this is the only thing I found that actually works. Anyhow, um, in this video I the the, the beginning photograph is, is uh, my wife and myself here in Florida. I want to wish everybody happy holiday season um, no matter what religious belief you believe in and I hope you have a good holiday. One thing that I did want to bring up um, is um, some people's plenums that they have made. They've sent me pictures. I wanted to show you some of them. Uh, these pictures I'm going to show you don't necessarily mean they're from the United States. Um, but uh, one individual made uh, a plenum out of used IKEA floor mats and with wall plugs. He made the legs. Uh, he used mesh on top to avoid the kitty litter falling through the plate. Fixed two air bubble intakes. Uh, I made two layers of non cluppy kitty litter. Between the layers, I spread a half inch of laterite 
soil and on top of that Amazon soil and ADA gravel. Water clear, uh, cleared in six hours. So after he set it up, remember I did a video on my uh, goldfish tank, how fast the water cleared up. Water cleared in six aisles and added fish after 24 hours. As such, the tank is doing well. Ammonia and nitrates are zero. I have two canisters running with a total of 2,400 liters per hour. Next up is to make my BCB baskets. And that's from Joseph. But I'm going to show you photographs of uh, Joseph uh, Milton. And also I have, I hope I'm saying this name right, uh, Vivek Sud. And uh, I, ho I hope I didn't butcher his name. I apologize for that. Uh, but he, he also sent me pictures of his aquarium and how he made his plenum. This is Joseph's Ikea built where he uses, uh, I guess, uh, the floor mats from Ikea. And of course, you're not going to see anything that he's showing you here because uh, it's all going to be covered up with substrate once he's completely done. And the tank, uh, after he was finished with it, with his uh, angel fish and all, is... Uh, quite nice and like I said by the time he finished you can't even see it of course here it is in its finished state and you don't even see anything or notice anything anyhow I thought I would show people this maybe give you some encouragement or maybe even show you uh, different ideas now the the next photographs that are coming up are from uh, Sud, and uh, he sent me some photographs just exactly of how he made his aquarium. This is uh, Sud's build, and as you can see, he's making a BCB basket, and inside the center of the basket in a bag is his laterite, and as you can see, he has the kitty litter all on the sides of it. A photograph of the, his filter that he's using with the BCB basket in it. And in this photograph, I don't know what he's doing exactly. This is a side view of his filter where he has two baskets. And in his filter, it, it looks like it's a bub tank filter. And he has one of those above tank filters that I showed in one of my videos where it actually uh, goes above the aquarium. It's black. And this is the finished BCB basket. And as you look on the left-hand side, you see that black box? That is his mechanical filter. And if you remember, I do show something like that, which is uh, in one of my videos. You can still buy those. You go on the internet, go to Amazon, and... You, you just, you know, type in above the tank aquarium filter and that black box that's on the left, as you can see, he has it squared off. It says mechanical. Uh, you could still buy those. So what he's done is added two BCB baskets. He has his mechanical. That goes in with the baskets and then that comes out into his aquarium. So he's got everything all set and above his tank. And he, of course, here's his aquarium. And instead of having all kinds of uh, um, tubes or canister filters or hang on the back filters, uh, pretty ingenious where he just uses an above tank filtration system, all work by gravity means. So all you need is one tube to pump it in, and then by gravity it will go back into his aquarium. Uh, I can't tell the size of this aquarium, but it looks like maybe it's a 20 or 30 gallon. Maybe I could be mistaken. But anyway, he sent me these pictures to show everybody um, how he's filtering his tank with a mechanical filter and BCB baskets. And I want to thank people for sending me their pictures, and I'll try to get to everybody. 
But uh, this was just a short video to let people see what other people are doing with the anoxic filter, BCB baskets, and uh, that's it for this video. It was short, sweet, and uh, let me see if I have another. Yes, I do have another photo that I'm going to show you of an individual. And here's another tank with discus and angelfish, and this all uses a plenum. He sent me more pictures of his tank, more up-to-date pictures, but look at that. That looks quite nice. Well, it's a pretty nice aquarium, but see, it doesn't, it doesn't look unsightly. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. He's got a plenum going. He's got his discus going in there, just like I've showed you from other hobbyists. Discus using a plenum, and here is an example of a very nice setup aquarium with beautiful discus in it. And you know, uh, like I've said before, I hate to repeat myself, but uh, years ago, discus weren't this easy to keep. But using a plenum, it has become that easy. Anyhow, I want to thank you for watching the video. This is a short and sweet video just to show you some hobbyist aquariums that they have been sending me. It's good. I think that other hobbyists see what people are doing, how they're doing it, how they implement their aquariums, how well they're doing. Uh, and if you think about it, you know, discus aren't cheap. So these people are building these uh, plenums and putting some very expensive fish in it. And look how nice the aquarium looks. But anyhow, I wish, want to wish everybody a happy holiday. Okay. And thank you very much for the comments, whether they're good or bad. And uh, th thank you very much for uh, letting me know how things are going in your aquarium. And until next time, this is Dr. Novak, and happy fish keeping.